Just recently, Mira Marathi, the CTO of OpenAI, shared her views on the future of AI and made some bold statements. When the interviewer asked about the impact of AI on creative jobs, she said, some creative jobs maybe will go away, but maybe they shouldn't have been there in the first place. Some creative jobs maybe will go away, um, but maybe they shouldn't have been there in the first place. Uh, you know, if, if the content that comes out of it is not very high quality, but I, I really believe that using it as a tool for education, creativity will expand our intelligence and creativity and imagination. Now, after these controversial remarks, fans are expressing their discontent. One user commented, well, if I'm taking your blood right now, maybe you shouldn't have blood in the first place. Said the flea to the dog. Another user said, what a revolting thing to say. Your whole invention develops itself by copying creatives life's works. Now you're saying those creatives shouldn't have existed in the first place. According to a survey by Robert Half, 34% of marketing and creative workers believe AI will positively impact their careers, while 21% worry it could make their skills obsolete. But after hearing this, my reaction was somewhat like that of many others. Imagine taking different recipes and putting them into a blender, then claiming you've created a masterpiece. It's like telling all the chefs in the world that their work shouldn't have existed in the first place. Like, is it a joke? or what? As a creative person myself, it's very disappointing and heart-wrenching to hear. Later in the discussion, she delved deeper into this concerning topic, saying, In terms of jobs specifically, I'm not an economist, but I certainly anticipate that um, a lot of jobs will change, some jobs will be lost, some jobs will be gained. Um, we don't know specifically what it's going to look like, but you can imagine a lot of jobs that are repetitive, would would that are just strictly repetitive, and people are not, uh, you know, advancing further. Like those would be repetitive. QA and testing code and things like that. During her talk at Dartmouth Engineering, Murati was optimistic about the advances in AI intelligence. She compared earlier models like GPT-3 to a toddler and even hinted that future models could achieve the intellectual prowess of a PhD holder in specific fields. These systems are already human level in specific tasks. Um, and of course, in a lot of tasks they're not. If you look at the trajectory of improvement, um, systems like GPT-3 were maybe, uh, let's say, you know, toddler level intelligence. And then systems like GPT-4 are more like smart high schooler intelligence. Um, and then in the next couple of years, we're looking at PhD level intelligence for specific tasks. Um, like so things are changing and improving pretty rapidly. Meaning like a year from now? Yeah, a year and a half, let's say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to know more about their upcoming model GPT-5, you can watch the video linked in the I button. In the interview, she pointed out that AI has the potential to revolutionize how we bring ideas to life. However, Marathi also warned that AI is a double-edged sword. While it offers incredible opportunities, it also comes with risks that we can't ignore. This makes it crucial to focus on developing AI responsibly. Therefore, she suggested that AI developers should work with experts in red teaming from the early stages. When we make technologies like Audio or Sora, we, the first people that we work with after the red teamers that study the risks are the content creators um, to actually understand how the technology would help them and how do you build a product that is both safe and useful and helpful. Well, if you don't know, red teaming involves testing systems by simulating attacks to find and fix vulnerabilities. This helps ensure that AI technologies are secure and used in ways that maximize benefits while minimizing risks. To control the convo, she later assured everyone that OpenAI is dedicated to responsible AI development and that they share their research widely and work with partners to improve their AI models. But do you think Think they are? Well, what are your thoughts on this? How do you see AI impacting your field or daily life? Comment and watch these videos on your screen to stay updated.